it's well worth when you put 200% into the sport. At the end of the day, like they say, like this is temporary. Like, you know, all this the diet, the competing, the feeling tired, draining this all day, all this stuff is temporary. The worst thing you could tell someone is that they can't do it or they're not going to do this or look a certain way. If I'm not to prove myself wrong, then it's going to be proving you guys wrong. Muscle and strength. We're back at it again. A year later, I think. Uh, update. I know you see the new place. It's kind of a different environment. Um, we are in Texas. Allen, Texas. Uh, yeah, I moved here about a month and a half ago. So this is a new start for me. Um, a new area. I just needed to get away from Atlanta. You know, I felt like if I needed to pursue my bodybuilding career and be around, we'll do a lot of good stuff. I gotta be around a lot of great people. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, so we're here now. Now we're gonna start our fasting cardio. I like to do cardio at my apartment complex. It's better for me to get my mind right. Um, nobody's in there so I can focus. I don't listen to no music. I'll scroll through my phone. But other than that, we can just focus on a task for today. Really catch up with me, you guys. Um, hell, I did one Chicago Pro last year. Uh, so, Kudos to that. Um, I told you guys I was gonna make it happen. Uh, when I shot the last Muscle Strength video, I was manifesting, and I manifested that I was gonna win it. That's what I did. And uh, you know, that's just from writing my goals and telling myself I was gonna win it. So um, I went through depression, and um, yeah, depression is pretty real. So went through depression, which caused me to sit out from the 2020 Mr. Olympia. It was hard. I mean, I cried every night. I was, you know, texting my close friends, like, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. And, um, you know, something told me to sit out, focus on your, your mental health, focus on your physical health, and take a break. That's what I did, and I was a, a normal human being for like a month or two. It felt amazing to eat normal food. And I didn't sit out just because I could eat. It was just more so that I was battling demons. I was really going through a lot of personal stuff. But now I'm in a better mindset. I'm in a better environment and I feel great. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life, financially, physically, spiritually. So I can't wait to show you guys uh, the comeback. You know, this is like redemption for me, you know, doing this. And I just want to finish this year and show people that I can be on stage with those guys. Go to the grocery store and get some stevia. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it, it's just stevia and water. I like to wake up and I like to do cardio. I mean, even off season, I like to do cardio. That, that just sets the tone for me, that wakes my body up, that wakes my mind up. That's my time to to focus on the day. Shubia. This should be good. Let me get some grouse cinnamon. Is that all you need? That's it. Four day grocery shop. Hope you enjoy. Prep hunger now, fill it. No 
one, baby. Best day of my life. We got, um... I already started eating some chicken. <laughs> Sorry, coach. <laughs> I truly think you can taste the difference between the quality of an egg. This egg is just, I don't know. I can't describe the taste, it's just quality. Get a regular large egg, like a Kroger brand versus, you know, a normal organic type egg. This is a big difference. I've been looking forward to this meal since yesterday. Mill one going down. Mill one of champions. Four and a half weeks out breakfast. We got 60 grams of cream of rice, half a cup of blueberries, ground cinnamon and stevia, two whole eggs, four ounces of chicken. Yeah, definitely, you know, I'm hungry. I'm craving that first meal because that's the first meal of the day. You gotta think, you sleeping for what, eight, nine, six hours, fasting, whatever the case is, however long you're sleeping, and then you're doing Cardio to burn extra three, four, five hundred calories. Now it's time to eat. Moved to Texas from Atlanta, Georgia, just for like, you know, just career wise to be better, being around really good people that, you know, supports me and do what I do. And that was a really good move for me. is really good with posing. Like when people do their back doubles or lat spreads, they're so clumped up, they're so stiff, they can't open up. That's why stretching is important, you know? Like if you got a big back, but you're super tight, you can't show how wide you are. Do I look professional? What are you doing? Crossing my legs so I can look professional. You gotta do it like over I can't, bro. I'm so sick. We'll put it, no, but there, no, lean it down. <laughs> then I'll get the shot. There you go. Relax, relax. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> ah. So I want you more like 45 degrees of this way. That's where your press is. Okay. I'm going, okay. okay. You feel that? So I want a little bit of glute med. I want some, yeah. a little bit of hamstring. So go ahead and push down. Look down. Look down and right. Relax, look up and left. So you want to look in the direction that you're moving the contraction of the limb. So what is this? Right, you guys, the milk cup sponsor. Cain, long life milk prep. Look at this milk thing. I'm a pretty structured person, man. Um, not even just on prep, but just, I, did, I think just in general, because it's important to, to have some type of structure in your life, whether it's work, whether it's your, what you do day to day, or whatever the case is. Now I'm just getting ready for my meal number three, which is gonna be my post-workout meal, but I just like to already have it seasoned. I usually get the fresh fish, the one that's already thawed out, but I like those better because it's bigger, but these is like very, very tiny. But I'm gonna season it up so I can have it fresh and ready. I hate being behind, especially on prep, you guys. You know, you're prep, you just want everything to be on time. You know, it's just a time thing, you know? Some people are totally fine with stretching their meals because they're hungry. For me, it's like, I like to be on time on prep off season. And you know, you can get away. You can stop and get something to eat or, you know, you're eating more so you're full more. But in prep, you're hungry and you just, you just want to get it in. I mean, this stuff is wear and tear. Like, you know, right now talking to you guys, I'm, I'm tired right now, I'm beat, you know? But you know, you gotta make stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's part of the sport, you just gotta deal with it, you know? I've been through it so many times. I've been doing it since 2016. I know it ain't a long time, but doing it consistent like I've been doing it, you know, I'm, I'm used to it by now. I just, I just go with the flow at this point. The sessions today is not to kill you, but it's to make sure we hit all the mandatories and everything else perfect. If you can't hit the mandatories or 
the quarter turns perfect and stuff, it's, it's gonna be hard for you to actually make a routine because this it just goes hand in hand. I do genuinely love helping people that's willing to put the work in. You know, I used to be a full-time personal trainer. Um, and I stopped that, especially with bodybuilding. Right now, I couldn't train a client. I could not, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. So online for me is best. It's more convenient for me. So I can still focus on and do what I have to do. But um, that and online posing is something I've been really picking up heavily, um, even in person. So I'm really gonna really focus on that and just grow my business on that right now. So stay right there. I'm about to bring you back right there. That's what I want. Now you can see your delts. You saw that? Yep. Shows it's not just conditioning. Like I said, it's bodybuilding. It's all about balance. It's all about condition. You know, um, you know performing correctly. Um, symmetry, shape, flow. It, it, it goes hand in hand. It's not about who got the best condition. That's the person going to win the show. Obviously, it don't work that way. I always bring in good condition, but I never brought that crazy, crazy condition. But what beats a lot of crazy condition people is my shape symmetry and my flow. And posing is like the big, big key factor in, in bodybuilding, you guys. We're just sitting out here now, chilling. Um, just gonna catch some sun a little bit. Sweat a little bit. Sometimes I like to sit out here. Um, just to get some vitamin D. Chill for about 15, 20 minutes. Relaxing is everything. I mean, you gotta give your body a break. I mean, we put our body in so much stress, so it's good to get out the house and, and, and do things like this. So this is what I do to keep my mind clear, to stay busy, stay active. I don't skip legs or nothing. Just, just there. Because I'm in shape. I'll show it off a little bit. Other than that, just don't show much. I mean, it's always been that way, really. Bodybuilding's already a judgmental sport anyway, so you have to hear people's mouths. For me, I just stay covered up. And... I don't really do much talking if you guys follow me. I mean, I feel like I prove a lot of people wrong every time I compete. I'll see you guys at the Olympia this year.